What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Red Dragon's K617 Fizz RGB Mechanical Keyboard. Yes, that is a bit of a mouthful. But I am so happy to be getting one of these. I'm so happy I ended up getting two of these. As you can see, I got the gray version and the pink version. I got the gray version obviously for myself and the pink one for my girlfriend because she wanted a keyboard as well. So I had no choice but to get her this beauty of a pink keyboard. But we will take a closer look at these in a bit. Let me go and tell you what came inside the box. So for one keyboard, obviously, you will get this wire, it is a USB-C to USB-A, and it comes with a Velcro strap as well. So as you can obviously tell, it is detachable, which is nice if you're planning on taking this with you places. Um, that is one of the reasons I got this keyboard, because it is a 60% keyboard, and 60% keyboards, in my personal opinion, are easier to take with me on trips. Then the other things that came in this box, we have a tool to remove switches and to remove keycaps. If you don't know how to remove keycaps, I do have a video on my channel for how to do that. So make sure to check that out if you need that help. We also have some extra switches. These keyboards come with red switches. As you can see, I haven't really unpacked mine because I do not need to replace the switches yet. But it does come with extra switches. I believe it's five, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I think there's four in there. It's kind of hard to see through this, but. It's four to five, somewhere around there. You can find that info on their box, probably. Let's see. Uh, 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 well, I don't actually see it on the box, but um, you should be able to find it on the Amazon page or their website if you need that information. And then I already dropped one of the things that I came with. It also came with a sticker. Each one comes with a nice Red Dragon sticker that is very high quality that you can put on any of your stuff. I know people like to put these on their laptops, on their water bottles, whatever it may be to rep the brand. And then we have the manual, which I will go ahead and just open up and just kind of scroll through so that way you can get an idea of what's written in it in case you need that information. Unfortunately, I don't know if my, all right, there we go. Hopefully that is easy enough to read. I am just going to kind of scroll right through it just so you can see it all. Just pause if there is anything that you need to read a little bit more in depth. All right, that pretty much covers the basics of what came in the box. Let me give you some general info and keep in mind the link to the products are in the description below. So this keyboard is a 60% keyboard, hot swappable with red switches. 20 RGB backlight modes. Yes, there are a lot of them on this one keyboard. It only weighs 430 grams, so it is very lightweight, perfect for travel. And it has a driver that lets you customize the colors and macros. And I'm not 100% sure if you need the uh, driver to customize all of the light modes. I generally stick to one or two that I like to use, but the driver is very handy to have, especially if you want to just pick the specific color or mode. Um, you can also like customize which exact keys are lit up. I'll probably make a video on how to get the driver because um, I know that can be kind of difficult for some people. So I will try to make that video. Just stay tuned for that. But let us get into looking at this keyboard. So let's go and look at this pink one. So let me just scroll right through so you can see what all it looks like right there. I usually like to start with the back. As you can see, we do have kickstands right here. Both sides have some rubber so that way it won't slip. Down here, you can see a drainage hole on both sides. So if you were to spill some liquid on it, it should drain through. That is really good to have, especially if you eat around your keyboard or drink around your keyboard. And then on this side, we have where you would plug in the USB-C end of the wire. And let me grab that wire again one more time. Have it somewhere here. And as you can see, it is curved. So if you put it in like this or the opposite way, it will go kind of flush against the keyboard. So it won't just kind of like stick out, which is nice. I'm gonna move this wire out of the way. Or actually, you know what? Let's go and plug this in. So I will first plug in the red one. Oop, sorry, I got the wire tangled up over here. 
Anyways, as I said, I am going to plug in the pink one first, just so you can get an idea of what the lighting looks like on it. However, once I show the other lighting modes, I'm gonna use on the gray just so it's a little easier to see against just the gray and white background of it. So let me go ahead and turn off my overhead light. Let me really quickly just adjust some of my settings to make it a little easier to see. All right, there we go. So hopefully this is easy enough to see. It's very bright lights. Um, I have a lot of ambient light coming into my room as well, so it might make it a little harder to see, but hopefully, hopefully you can view these lighting modes pretty well. Um, let me go ahead and just adjust some of this. So this is to change the brightness, obviously. You can also, it, before I continue on that, it has up to five brightness levels. You can also change the direction of flow if I remember correctly. But if you see function and space is what will let you kind of switch between the different light modes. And you want to use the driver, of course, to kind of go through the other lighting modes that it has. Um, from what I can personally tell, you are a little limited on how many lighting modes you can use when you're using just the keyboard like this. So you do kind of need the driver if you want to customize the lights some more. So let me just cycle through again, just so you can kind of get an idea of what they all look like. And I'm gonna unplug the pink one and plug in our gray one. And personally, I think it's a little easier to see the lighting modes on the gray one, at least on the video. Uh, off video, I think the pink one looks really nice as well, but this is kind of what you have to go through. Oh, there we go. That's what it was. Function and M is to switch between the other lighting modes, as you can see here. And I'm just gonna switch between all of them. And you know what, let me make it, let me try to make it a little bit darker in here, because I think it's a little hard to see. There we go. So here we have the other lighting modes. I'm just gonna cycle through them really quickly, because these lighting modes aren't anything like different. You know, you can get this on pretty much any mechanical keyboard, but I'm just gonna cycle through so you can just see them all at least once. Um, hopefully, I'll notice once we get towards the beginning again. I think this is, is that the beginning? That is, yep, okay, so we've cycled through all of them and this one, I guess, is to mostly just switch between the current mode and the last mode that you used. So like, here's the main mode and then the mode that I had it on before. So as you can see, like the fully lit mode versus the mode I had before. So this keyboard is really nice. Um, you can probably hear, it might be a little hard to hear. In fact, I should probably bring it up to my mic a little bit closer, but I'm gonna type just a little bit just so you can hear what it sounds like. So that should have given you somewhat of an idea of what it sounds like. Um, red switches are a little bit more quiet, as you can obviously tell. I personally like using red switches um, because I game a lot at night and I don't want to wake everyone up around me. That's honestly the main reason I like to use red switches is just not to wake up everyone who is around me. And I know that might sound like a really dumb reason to have to get a certain type of switch, but that is my main reason. Some people prefer the red switches as well. Um, I think I like red switches, but they aren't usually my go-to, go-to type of switch. As far as in-game performance, I think these keyboards did really well. I did test both of them. Um, they both felt exactly the same, which they obviously should since they're the exact same keyboard. And it did take a little while to get used to because I usually use blue switches. But once I did use it for a little while, um, I was gaming just fine. It felt like using my old keyboard, except a little bit quieter and people were complaining a little less about the clicky noises because um, when I am playing, people I'm playing with can hear a little bit of the clicking. So they did appreciate the reduction in clicky noises. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this keyboard. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Again, I will try to make a video on how to get the driver, if that is something that you're interested in. And you know, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching.